Hello and welcome to another edition of Understanding Blend Modes. Today we will join the dark side and demystify the powers of the darkened blend mode. So let's start by having a look at the formula for the darkened blend mode, which is return the lowest value from A and B, which translates show only the darkest pixel from the blend and the base layer. As the formula always picks the darkest pixel, the image will always be darkened, hence the name. And as you might have guessed, this blend mode is also commutative, meaning the order of the layers has no effect on the result. You can swap the blend and the base layers, but the result will be the same. Another side effect of this formula is that white will have no effect and black will always stay black. So let's have a look if we blend A and B. You see we get a quite a dark result where the left and the bottom sides have become totally black and there's only white at the top right. Let's also have a look at our five baselines and how they move when they get blended. As expected, the blue-black line stays black. The green 75% black line becomes darker until it reaches the 75% grey threshold and then maintains its value. Similar for the 50 and the 25% black. The yellow line, representing white, just follows what is blended and does not deviate from the blended values. Meaning, as I mentioned earlier, it has no effect. I will switch to GMIC and apply the formula to our two test layers, so we can see the result. Here is the formula. If A smaller than B, use A, else use B. Or we can make use of the min function and type in min A, B. And as you see, the result is the same. Now let's switch back to Affinity and see this in action. Here is the base layer. And here is a blend layer I will use. After I change the blend mode to darken, we indeed get the same result as we saw in GMAC. Let me clip a part of the blend layer so we can clearly see the difference side by side. So what you see is that indeed the brighter pixels have been replaced by the orange yellow color we have blend in. If you use a layer containing only a single color, with a darkened blend mode, you will get this unpleasing effect that we see right now. You probably want to adjust the blend ranges in a way that the transition goes more smoothly and then you get a very nice subtle color grade in your highlights without affecting the colors in the darker areas. If I change the blend mode back to normal, you see how much difference the darkened mode makes. While on the subject of comparing the darkened blend mode, the biggest competition of the darkened blend mode will be the multiply blend mode, as this usually generates much better results out of the box. However, the biggest change you will need to keep in mind is that the multiply modifies the original colors and makes everything darker. In the video about the multiply blend mode, I will touch the differences in more detail. Just for comparison purposes, let me put the image and the darkened blend mode next to each other. If I change the blending color, you notice the darker I make it, the more gets lost or replaced by the color. So I hope you have now an understanding how the darkened blend mode works. Time to see the darkened mode in practice. Let us use our test image again and I have this purple vignette which I'm going to apply to it. If I change the blend mode to darken, it looks crappy, but by changing the blend range of the underlying layer, it immediately changes to something special. As I mentioned, the multiply is a competitor of the darken mode, so let's check that one too. The effect of the multiply is also pretty cool but you lose the purple color, especially in the dress. And if you don't want that, you have to use the darken mode. Okay, let's have a look at this curves layer. And this also demonstrates another great use of the darken blend mode. 
especially with curves and channel adjustment layers. I have modified the red channel and if I switch to normal mode, the image does not look good. Also, not great in the multiply mode, by the way. Let me demonstrate what is happening with a new curves layer. If the curves adjustment layer is set to darken mode, everything above the main diagonal will be ignored, as the blend mode does not allow brightening. By setting the blend mode to darken, you kind of put a limiter on the adjustment that you cannot make it brighter. And that is pretty cool. So for the example with the red channel adjustment, I can recreate this with a normal blend mode. But I need to add a couple of extra control points to put back the upper part back on the diagonal line. I find in these cases, using a darken blend mode works much easier. Next, I will switch to another document and use the lion I used on my last video. So this is how it looks without any adjustments. And this is how it looks with adjustments using only the darken blend mode. Pretty amazing, isn't it? So let's quickly go over them one by one and see the power of the dark side, sorry, the dark mode. First, I have a recolor adjustment where I have added some blue and modified the blend range. In darken mode, this just gives that extra nice bluish contrast. In multiply, it is too much. Next, I have a very interesting use of the threshold adjustment, which you don't see that much. As the threshold adjustment generates a black and white image, we can use this to darken our image by adjusting the threshold. As this is quite strong, the opacity really needs to be lowered. In this case, about 10% gives a nice contrast with a sharpening feel to it. Finally, to give the image the effect of a strong sunshine, I have used a vibrance adjustment with a darkened blend mode. And this really suits the image. This is just the tip of the iceberg. There is a lot more you can do with the darkened mode. Here's another quick example. With just one adjustment and the help of the darkened blend mode, we can add this amazing atmosphere to a photo which you cannot do easily with the normal or the multiply mode. I'm going to do a follow-up video with more examples using the darken blend mode, so stay tuned for that. The darken blend mode is pretty amazing and I feel like it's a little bit underrated. However, after this video, now you know its secrets, I hope you will use it more often. Thanks very much for watching.